Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've got an e-commerce site here and we're going to be showing you how to set up this little pop-up cart right here. Now when people are shopping around your site rather than leave the actual page that they're on and go to the cart, you've got this little pop-up icon here that will stay there when they're scrolling around the site shows a number of items in their cart and when they're ready or they want to check something they can have a look they can remove items view cart check out and continue shopping fantastic thing to have on any e-commerce site anything you can do to keep people on your pages when they're shopping is a good idea as far as I'm concerned now this is the Yith WooCommerce pop-up here and I'll put the link below the video So let's get started. I'm going to undo what I've got going on here and we'll start again. Okay, once you've got it installed, it's going to appear in your dashboard right here. Now, if I go to my site now and refresh, we should have the generic version right there. And there we go. As you can see, there's a little generic version that appears up here it's white on white so you're losing it a little bit there but that's how it's going to start off now you can go in and customize it obviously down to the dashboard to yith you can change the size of the actual pop-up itself if you want to width by height let's take this down to 500 there's all kind of different animations you can make it do. You can choose whether to have it enabled on archives and single product pages. And Yith incidentally comes with a couple of versions. There's a free version. We're using the pro version today. Obviously the free version has got a lot less features. Choose your messages and content here. Thumbnail size for the image, images that are shown in the cart. There are your thumbnails right there. You can show product variations, cart total, etc, etc. Just choose what attributes you want to have in yours, obviously. View cart button. You can put in whatever text you want. You can choose whether to show suggested products. But the main one that I'm interested in today is that little pop-up itself. Because this is for the actual when it does pop up. So that's the mini cart. Click on it. This is the mini cart. And it's absolutely awesome as you can see. Now you can put your own icon in there. You can upload one. They suggest it's 32 by 32. I'm actually using one that's 50 and I'm going to make it a little more in line with my site. I mean that one's fine but I want, want one that's perhaps this color and I think I'll put mine down here. So just I'm using a, a little ping PNG portable network graphic image, JPEG will work just as well as long as it's not too big and I've made mine 50 by 50 let's just choose the image as you can see it's put it in there you can choose whether or not to show the counter number of items in the card itself and you can also hide it if it's empty now this is a great feature you can just put this cart button wherever you want it for instance if I put it there save the changes Now I've refreshed this page. As you can see, it's popped it down there and it's got our new icon in there. And as you can see, everything's perfectly functional. You can exclude various products if you want to, if you don't want people to be able to use these. And you can also exclude categories. I haven't got any at the moment because I'm happy for them to shop with everything. The only other 
tab we've got here is style where you can set the styles and colors for the information in your little cart pop up there and I'm happy with that at the moment I think the only one I'd probably change is the message background color I'm using a free cut color picker here chrome I could make that the same color as we've got here and just paste the hex code in and we're good to go take another look there we go so I'm pretty happy with that let's try adding something to the cart let's get rid of a few of these let's go ahead and add something to our cart there we go and there's our pop-up message that it's been added to the cart and there's our nice background there I guess I could change that writing to white but that seems to stand out fine and that is a wonderful little feature to have on your site obviously you can just click on it and check it all so that's the Yith WooCommerce added to cart plugin. Like I say, I'll put the link below the video. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.